Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants, I'm back, guys, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, what's up, y'all, welcome back, guys, welcome back, got another great video for you guys today, as usual, you guys know the deal on this channel, it's all about setting the record straight, stopping the lies, stopping the narratives, right, stopping them from rewriting history, guys, and in this video, we're going to talk about this goofball James Harden, man, and I guess he was at the Rico Hines runs uh, the other day. I believe it was in Oakland, California or, or something like that. I think they were at UCLA a University and they were doing some some runs there. And James Harden gave a, a motivational speech at the Rico Hines runs, man. I don't understand why these people would let James Harden speak to anyone. And James Harden, of course, shows his true colors and talks about money. He, he bring, you know, I guess Tyrese Maxey was there and he talks about money. This is what he talks about. Tyrese Maxey signed that huge contract. All the hard work paid off and he got his money, man. It's all James Harden is about, man. We're going to talk about this video because once again, James Harden to me, it should never be talking or giving any kind of motivational speeches to anybody. I don't care who it is. James Harden is not worthy of that. James Harden is a complete dirtbag, man. James Harden, once again, does not love the game of basketball, guys. This guy only cares about money and fame. That's all these guys care about, man. What stupid outfit they're going to wear to the game, man. We're going to talk about this video. And I want to thank you guys, everyone across the world, everyone across the states has been supporting my channel. Once again, guys, I am truly humbled, man. Much respect to all you guys. A uh, shout out to Constance Hill, uh, who sent me a uh, uh, money on the PayPal, uh, donate to my channel. Thank you very much. Shout out to anyone that's ever donated to my channel. You guys know I'm truly humbled by any amount of money, man. I know money is hard to come by for a lot of us, man. So much respect to you guys. Shout out to everybody in the membership, man, that continues their support, man. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, I wanted to do a brief video on this clown James Harden, man, in this article that I saw the other day uh, about James Harden. And he was at the Rico Hines runs over in UCLA. And he gave a little bit of a, I guess, a quote, unquote, unquote, motivational speech to some of the people that were there, the players that were there. And Tyrese Maxey was there. And... You know, once again, guys, I don't respect James Harden. You guys know that on this channel. I don't respect James Harden. I don't respect him as a basketball player. I do not respect his career, the way that he he played out his career, the things that he did at flopping and all the, the, the foul calls he was getting for those couple of years when he was at MVP level form and they were pumping this guy as the greatest scorer of all time. All this nonsense. I don't respect James Harden. The man doesn't honor his contracts. The man's not a leader. This dude is a complete bum to me, man. And he's always more concerned about what he's doing off the basketball court, right? He's always more concerned about the outfits he's wearing to the games. He's always more concerned about hanging out with these celebrities, hanging out in these strip clubs, doing all this nonsense, man. I do not respect James Harden's career. I don't respect anything about this dude. And I don't respect him as a grown man. And I tell you, someone like James Harden stands on nothing, man. He has no honor, no class, no integrity, James Harden, man. And he doesn't get the respect. He hasn't earned the respect of grownups, or so I thought. And then I see James Harden giving a speech at the Rico Hines runs. Now, if you guys don't know, I believe Rico Hines is a, a, a basketball coach, and he has his own clinics, I think, and things of that nature. But I believe he's an assistant coach for the Philadelphia Sixers. So I'm sure he's very familiar with James Harden. And Tyrese Maxey was at this run. He was there at UCLA. And James Harden was addressing the guys that were there, the, the players. And he brings up the money that Tyrese Maxey earned through his hard work. He talks about the money. That's all it is for this for someone like James Harden. It's all about the money that you signed for. That's what that's what shows all Tyrese Maxey's hard work. It's not about the, the game that he has on the court, the, the, the things that he did on the basketball court, the points that he scored, his playmaking ability, his ball handling, none of this stuff, the big shots that he was making when he was playing against the New York Knicks in that first round. Tyrese Maxey was play, uh, playing very good basketball, making some big shots in that series against the Knicks in the postseason. James Harden talking about none of this stuff. What James Harden wanted the players to know about Tyrese Maxey is that all his hard work paid off in the form of money. Oh, man, how much you, he said, he asked him, how much you signed for, man? 204 million, whatever the hell he signed for, 200 something million dollars. That's what James Harden was more interested in. That's what he wanted to tell all the players there. Hey, man, your hard work will pay off. You'll get money. That's what it's all about. James Harden is only about the money, guys, and the fame. So he can go out there and spend that money on these strippers and all these women. I tell you that. James Harden got zero swag, guys. 
Zero swag coming off of James Harden, which is why he has to pay for women. He has to pay for this stuff. Because when you look the way you look, right? Like the way like James Harden looks, and you have no swag, no personality. And once again, you stand on nothing. You stand on nothing, James Harden. You're a complete piece of garbage, in my opinion, man. James Harden is a complete dirtbag, man. This dude does not care about the game. He does not care about the fans. He don't care about the franchise he played for or the cities he plays in. He doesn't care about any of this stuff. All he wants is his money. And if you don't give him his money, then he wants to request a trade. If he's not happy, he wants out of the town. How many teams has James Harden been on in the last four or five seasons, guys? This man was on the, the Houston Rockets. Then he goes to the Oklahoma, excuse me, then he goes to the Brooklyn Nets. Then the man goes to the, the Philadelphia 76ers. Then he goes to the LA Clippers. I mean, my God, the man went to like three teams in three years or whatever the hell it was. And once again, not honoring his contracts, not living up to his contracts, not being a true leader, never on the basketball court, never plays a lick of defense. The man's a career postseason choker. And here he comes giving a motivational speech, speaking. This man should never speak in public to anybody, to anyone. Who the hell wants to listen to James Harden? Who? What does James Harden have to tell you about life or anything? I don't give a damn about James Harden's quote-unquote skills. I'm not impressed with James Harden's dribbling ability. Carries the ball all over the court. Travels all over the court. The man's flopping all over the court for his foul calls, for his free throws. He got a frozen MVP award that he would never get in any other era of NBA. None, none, no other era will James Harden ever win an MVP. Not in the 60s, not in the 70s, not the 80s, the 90s, not the early 2000s. This man would never win an MVP in any of those eras because his game is fraudulent. But they want to talk about James Harden's skills all the time and the things he does on the court. What does he do? Don't play any defense. Never gave the effort. The man's never in shape. He doesn't even respect the game enough or respect the franchise or respect his contract enough to even come in shape, come into camp in shape. When's the last time the, uh, James Harden played a full season of 82 games? Can anybody tell me the last time he did this? It's an absolute joke. This guy's a straight clown. And for him to talk about money at this basketball camp, at the Rico Hines camp, uh, clinic, once again, exposed to James Harden as an, a complete embarrassment and a guy that only cares about the money and the fame. Like a lot of these guys today, they only care about the money and the fame. They only care what they get from the game. They don't care about giving back to the game. Has James Harden gave anything to the game? Has he contributed to, game, to the game? Has he helped push the game forward? No, he hasn't. James Harden is one of the biggest problems with the NBA today. He's part of the regression of the NBA. He's part of what we can't stand about the NBA. The mentality of these guys in that whack game of James Harden, dribbling all over the place, dribble, dribble, dribble. Dribble, 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 and let me chuck up a shot. This is why James Harden never wins. He never wins, James Harden, because when it comes down to it, right, when, when the score gets tight, when the stakes get up, right, in the postseason, James Harden don't make those shots. All that dribbling don't do nothing in the postseason for someone like James Harden. And once again, when you're a one-dimensional play like James Harden's always been his entire career, no defensive intensity, no defensive effort, no presence on the defensive end, no leadership, you're not galvanizing the players around you, none of this stuff. All you're doing is, once again, dribbling the air out of the basketball and taking all the shots, man. And this is James Harden's game. But he's going to talk to uh, uh, talk to the players and talk about Tyrese Maxey and the money that he got from all his hard work. He won't talk about the on-court game of Tyrese Maxey, all the hard work he put in to become a, a up-and-coming star in the NBA. He just wants to go right to the money that he got from the hard work that he put in. Once again, these guys don't seem to get it, man. The money will come, man. The money will come if you're working hard, if you're being honest, if you're holding yourself accountable, you're holding yourself to the standard. The money will come. Someone like James Harden, this guy hasn't earned his money in years, in years. But yet and still, he asks these teams to pay him all this money. He signs for all this money, but he don't give the effort. These guys are a joke, man, and these are supposed to be the superstars. These are supposed to be the big-time players of this past 2010 era. Someone like James Harden is supposed to be one of the main guys, the greatest shooting guard of his era. Think about how that sounds. James Harden is the greatest shooting guard of his era. This man would not even be a top-10 shooting guard in other eras. He damn sure wouldn't be a top shooting guard in the 90s. There's no way in hell he would be up there with the Michael Jordans, the Clyde Drexlers, the Mitch Richmonds, the Reggie Millers. I'm not putting him up there with those guys. It's an absolute, absolute joke, man. James Harden will never be that guy. I told you, he's not a top 10 shooting guard all time, man. I'm not putting him above those guys or Kobe Bryant. I'm not putting him above Allen Iverson. I'm not putting him above Jerry West. I'm not putting him above Dwayne Wade. So how many guys is that I already named? Is he greater than Sam Jones? Is he greater than George Gervin? Like, this is what I'm talking about, guys. 
James Harden had one or two really good seasons, but once again, if you look at the system he played under Mike D'Antoni and all the foul calls he was getting, all the flopping he was doing, all the acting he was doing, man, it's an embarrassment. His 2018 MVP award is an actual embarrassment, man, for the actual NBA, for the league of the NBA, man, for that era. Like I said, he would never sniff an MVP in any other era. But in this era, he gets an MVP, and people will try to pump him as one of the, the great scores in NBA's history, man. No, he's not. Where's that scoring when it matters most? Nowhere to be found, man. James Harden's game is, once again, basic and bland. It's boring, man. The dude don't give no effort on the defensive end, never been a president on the defensive end. All these guys, a lot of these guys, they're one-dimensional, man. One-dimensional. One-dimensional in this weak, soft era, man. James Harden in the 90s, man, <laughs> dude is... He might be a bench player in the 90s. Maybe a role player at best, James Harden, man. All that flopping he does, all that sensitive crying and everything he does, not any, or no defensive intensity, no defensive presence, never in shape. I'm just saying, man, he wouldn't make it in that era, man. You guys know the deal. And this guy's talking about money with Tyrese Maxey, the money that he made, the money he earned. So it's about money with James Harden. That's all that goes back to for James Harden. And once again, Rico Hines, why would you have James Harden talk at your camp, man? Why would you have James Harden talk to anybody? He hasn't earned that right. James Harden is, who the hell is James Harden to talk to anyone or to, to be a motivational speaker or a public speaker about anything? I don't give a damn if it is basketball. James Harden ain't that dude, man. And he has not earned that right. The way this man has carried himself is complete dirtbag. He don't honor nothing. He respects nothing but himself, man. Does that sound familiar, guys? It sounds like a lot of these guys in this era, they look down the common folks. They look down the organizations they play for. They're all about themselves. James Harden's more con concerned with the outfits that he wears to the games than he is about the actual game on the court, man. Once again, swaggerless, <laughs> the swaglessness of James Harden, man, and a lot of these guys in this era. But James Harden wants to get all his money. So all he cares about is money. And once again, he's on the L.A. Clippers. He's done nothing on the L.A. Clippers. Did nothing for the Sixers organization. But this guy, Rico Hines, is going to have him come and speak. If I was Rico Hines, who I, like I said, I believe is a coach for the Sixers, I wouldn't even associate myself with someone like James Harden. The way that he, the, the way that he did that organization, a complete dirtbag, man. Like I said, a piece of garbage, James Harden, man. And he stands for nothing, stands on nothing, man. And I don't respect him, man. All he cares about is money. And once again, he exposed himself in that article and exposed himself, once again, talking to those people and, and focusing on Tyrese Maxey's money. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.